Good morning. I'm doing a bike ride today. Uh, I'm gonna try to avoid the, some of the major streets. I don't. <clears throat> doesn't real. Doesn't feel real safe. Some of the cars. So today I'm taking this trail along the uh, Arroyo uh, uh, from uh, Wyoming and. Uh, And uh, what is it? Comanche. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, I plan on, on taking this trail all the way to UNM. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's not real cold, but. Oh man. But you know, I do feel the wind. So it's kind of windy. At least it feels that way. So my plan is to try to ride every day just to get in shape eventually uh, I would like to uh, do some exploring take some rides in some areas that are kind of where people don't go often If anyone ever wants to join me, let me know. Uh, this ride should be fairly easy. I did have a, an experience with ice on the, sh on the shade. It's full of ice. I mean, not, 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 not just no ice. So, like right here. So I'm trying to stay where the snow is. But one thing I learned with the ice is don't panic because I slid for a little bit. It wasn't long, but don't panic. Quit paddling and uh, and go with the slide. <laughs> you know, kind of it's not gonna last long. Instead of freaking out and breaking and trying to panic, is makes things worse. Okay, I'm gonna cross here. Louisiana, crossing Louisiana now. I'm not gonna go real fast, primarily because I'm rusty on my riding. So I'm gonna try to kind of not go real fast. So if you're a, an experienced rider and you want to ride with me, I'm going to be slow for now. Hopefully with more, once I get in shape and I get acclimated with this bike, I'm still kind of figuring out the gears and all that. Uh, I can do a faster pace. Hello. I'm kind of like going downhill, so it's real pleasant. So it's not bad. I need to close my pockets. I don't want stuff falling out, especially my keys. Take these gloves, gloves off. Yeah, especially my keys. I don't want 
I'm gonna lose my keys. Okay. It's things like that <laughs> that I need to work on. <sighs> All right. I did get a couple of things. I got a uh, some some gloves that are warmer, and then uh, also coming up. Also. Uh, I got a, I put on some, uh, my, my, I got some pants that are lined, so they're warm. Uh, I, I layered up on top, so it's not as bad. I brought a, uh, kind of like a hood that covers my ears, but really I don't think I need it. Uh, so I should be okay. I got a windbreaker, cut down on the wind. Looks like I'm going eight miles an hour. The other thing, and it's not real fast, but the other thing is I like to walk, look at things. So I'm always looking for things that I may want to photograph. So that's the other reason why I don't go too fast. So that's gonna be the other thing with me is that that I might stop to photograph things I see. So I'm always looking. I see uh, the Arroyo has a lot of water. All that snow that's melting up in the mountains is coming down. So I think on my way back it's going to be a little harder, so I'll be going a little bit uphill. It's not real bad, I mean it's not like a, like a heavy incline, but you know, with time it, you feel it. So I'm coming to San Pedro. I'm gonna stop just to make sure there's no traffic. Uh, I still need more experience. It's been a while since I've ridden a bike. It's been, I thought it was four years, but it's actually more than five years. Uh, my bike had been sitting, collect, collecting dust. So I finally decided to pick it out dust it off, took it in, to get it tuned up, and uh, and here I am. I think this trail goes all the way to UNM, but I'm not sure. I'm coming down to uh, to that park that's over here by San Mateo in Candelaria, actually. So, but it continues to go west. It actually ends in Wyoming, I think. Unless it starts up in another area. But but I'm familiar with this park. I like this park here. There's a bridge, there's some uh, graffiti. That's the other thing I look for is graffiti. Okay. No traffic that way, and no traffic this way. 
so I'm good to go this is a real nice park I used to like to come and just spend some time at this park just hanging out There's like a, sw a swimming pool here, closed of course, but it may, there may be an indoor pool. Okay, we're coming, we're coming, uh, coming to uh, up to some snow, ice. Oh, it's a little, little bit. Okay. I'm kind of staying pretty much at 8 miles per hour. Eventually I like to be like around 13 miles an hour. But for now, that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna come to this, to San Mateo. So this place has a lot of traffic. You can see a lot of traffic here. As you, one thing that I uh, don't want to do much, much of, is traveling on these uh, uh, main uh, arteries, main streets. I just don't feel safe. Yes, the last time I, I rode the bike, I rode on uh, Pennsylvania. There's a bike lane, and it's real narrow. And uh, some of these cars are coming real close to me. Very close. So I didn't like that. Let this truck go by. Hey. Okay. Guy's looking at me instead of just going. Oh, fuck. All right. Sorry, uh. The other thing, uh, oh, ice sliding a little bit. Oh, slid. <laughs> the other thing, uh, I'm sorry. I, I want to apologize in advance for my language. Some, I mean, I'm. I have a bad habit of cursing sometimes. Uh, I spent eight years in the Marine, in the Marines, and uh, I picked up a lot of bad habits. <laughs> there so so still uh, something I'm trying to work on it used to be worse believe me but I'll try I just sometimes do it and I don't even realize it so one of the things I like about bicycling like right here I don't know what that is Like an open field here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I try to turn the camera, but I uh, sometimes you find things that typically you won't find. And the other thing I noticed, I used to be a runner. I used to run a lot. And even when you're running, it's not the same when you're on a bike, because you know you get to look around more, and you're a little higher up, so you can see things better gotta be careful crossing these streets just gotta make sure there's no cars so one of the things that I like that, I'm, that I want to do is I want to take some of these streets like urban exploration type of stuff like I want to take this road it's not really a road but it's a so it's like a road, dirt, along the railroad, rail tracks. And I, the one time I, the one time I took the train, I saw so many things. They were pretty neat, a lot of graffiti, a lot of uh, industrial areas. So I'd like to explore some of that. 
I also want to take some rides in some neighborhoods and just ride in the neighborhoods. So, so those are some of the things that are in my, in, in my, in my plan. My phone is ringing. I've been getting a lot of these uh, calls from from Medicare and, and all these scammers calling me, man. I get like four or five a day. It's like out of control. So. There we go. Sorry about that. Nobody calls me, just these scammers. When I'm bored, I'll, I'll talk to them a little bit, but just to have fun. But mostly I just get annoyed. I don't know how they got my number. Bastards. Okay, let's not think about that anymore. So I'm still, still at it. I should be I should be coming to Carlisle here real soon. <clears throat> There's another side street here. Still have to look to make sure. Nothing the right, nothing the left. So I'm good. So here we go. I was gonna tell you uh, the last time I rode the bike, I came to this tunnel. They, they went underneath uh, San Pedro, I believe. And there was a whole bunch of homeless people making like a fire. And uh, one of them was yelling at me. I'm not sure what he was saying. I, I don't know if it was friendly or what. But that's the other thing you gotta be careful about. I don't know, I'm not saying they're all, all the homeless people are bad, but I just don't wanna have any bad encounters with anyone, that's for sure. Just an easy ride, this is my second ride since, since, since five years ago. <laughs> so I wanna pace myself. I mean, I still need to come back. And it's kind of like a little bit uphill. Okay, it looks like I'm coming to Carlisle. Things are gonna get a little, a little more interesting. It doesn't write a word. So this road typically has a lot of traffic. So I just need to make sure. Traffic is cleared. So I see, I noticed this bridge has a lot of graffiti. So that would be a good place to explore someday. I see, I see a lot of graffiti down there. Those are the kind of things I wanna kinda explore, you know? And take pictures. So here we go, cleared. And up ahead is a tent. I don't see water anymore. So I don't know what happened. 
pretty big uh, tent there. It was like a, he had everything there, water, all kinds of stuff. He or she, I don't know who it is. Who it is. <coughs> Okay, perhaps this doesn't go to you and them, I don't know. I'm coming, I'm coming up to a bridge, little bridge. This, uh, this ditch, this, uh, this channel connects to a way bigger one. The one that goes south and then eventually west that crosses the crosses the uh, freeway road runner hey buddy he didn't say hey back there's a park litter with trash sad getting more common people here Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Duke. Okay. Totally, totally, totally. Okay. Nothing here. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's not the speedometer. Let me see. Three, four. Okay. Thirteen. Okay, that's. I think that's it. Let me see. I hear someone talking, laughing. Yeah, I hear some voices. Not sure whose they are. It looks like I'm going up here a little bit. my gears kind of it's not real smooth the chain is kind of you can hear it trying to change gears I'm not, I'm not sure what is wrong with it I did I did have my bike tuned up but uh, I don't know what I don't, I don't know what happened Okay, we're going south.
I mean a little bit. Here we go. Oof. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. Clear. Alright. Try to pick up some speed. <coughs> Oof. <sighs>